Say what's going on, YouTube. It's your boy, man, 16 in life. Coming out here with my first video I'm dropping for y'all, man. You know, today I'm going to talk about some of my experiences in prison, some prison stories and shit. You know, like I say, I've done 24 years. If you aren't familiar with my channel, um, 16 to life, I'm a rapper. You know, uh, go to my page, 16 to life on YouTube. Check, I got some videos up there. I got some audios. And uh, anyway, we're going to get into this story. Now, like I said, you know, I got sentenced to uh, 16 years to life. And so... I'm going to skip forward a little bit. You know, I was in the county jail and shit. I'm going to bypass that. I, and I was in reception center. Reception center is basically what's uh, called, it's where you go there. When you leave the county jail, you get shipped to reception center, which back in the time, this was 1996. This was, um, in, it was in Tehachapi. So once you go to the reception center, you might stay there. It all depends. You might stay there anywhere from two or three months to eight or nine months until they find a, um, to the counselors and stuff, you got to go in front of the counselors, you talk to them, they evaluate your crime, you know, and then decide what prison they're going to send you to. In California, which is where I'm from, the prisons are designated upon points, depending on how many points at back, back then, depending on your age, depending on had you been to uh, prison before, depending on your crime, you know, depending on whether you was married or not, <clears throat> depending on whether you had graduated high school, all these things, you know, in their opinion, calculated a certain risk. You know what I'm saying? So the more points you got, the more higher level of security they put you under. Like in prison, in California prisons, the, um, the prisons are level one, which is very, very minimum security, level two, level three, level four. Then they also got what's called a level four 180. It's basically where all the fuck ups, and it's, 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 it's like a kick out yard where, where if you fuck up and you go to the hole, you, you go into a level four. If you catch a stabbing or something like that, you go to the hole. When you come out, you go into a level four. So level four, 180, excuse me, you know, assault on the police, depending on your crime, you know what I'm saying? So, or, you know, you, you may be coming in with a gang of time, you know, uh, gang bang related crimes or things of that nature, you know, they may possibly throw you on a level, level four, 180. So anyway, I'm at the reception center. So I wait there, you know, I get housed and stuff. I'm dealing with the, uh, you know, I gotta go see the counselors and stuff. They evaluate me or whatever. And so once they evaluate you and decide where you go, then depending on what prison might be open, then they send you to a prison. Okay, so I go get evaluated. I'm gonna skip a little bit of that because that ain't really what I'm talking about. but. I go get evaluated, and it turns out I'm going to Salinas Valley. At this time, Salinas Valley was a new prison that just opened. You know, it's on and cracking. It's a whole lot going on up there. So that's where I'm getting ready to go. And there was another dude who I ain't going to really say his name or say what gang he was from, but anyway, he was about 19 years old. He's, so me and him is both going to, to Salinas Valley. At the time, I'm probably about, I think, probably about, what was I about? I think I was like 24, 25, somewhere up in there. Anyway, so... Me and him was getting ready to. We we going together. We 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 had been talking and you know we had become cool and stuff in the, in uh in, in the reception center in Tehachapi or whatever. So now this dude is really not even supposed to be on. He didn't have level four points. He only had level three points. But due to the fact that he had been to Youth Authority, the California Youth Authority, for some gang related shit, they overrode him, which basically like bumped him up sent him to like a level four. So, you know, he kind of a little nervous, you know, me and him ain't, neither one of us had never been to the pen before. You know, he 19, he got, he had a life sentence too. He had 15 years of life. So, so we, you know, we got on, we got on, we caught the chain. We, you know, we, we, they got us, they got us, they call it the chain because you actually, there's actually a chain around your waist. Then they got the chain around your waist. Then they got the chains coming off, off the chain from around your waist onto your hands, so they got you handcuffed on there, you know, so we on the bus, now, on the bus ride, they don't pretty much allow no talking, you know, you got to be quiet or whisper or whatever like that, so, anyway, so, you know, he's a little nervous and stuff, I'm a little nervous, we headed to the pen for the first time or whatever, we talking, so, he's all, you know, he's all basically pretty much like enthused, like, okay, I'm only 19 years old, you know, or a matter of fact, he might have been 18, 18 or 19, he was a young cat, though, but anyway, he was all, you know, basically, he was upbeat, like, man, I'm only, you know, I'm only 18. I got 15 years, man, so, 
you know, I'll be out by the time I'm 32, 33, whatever the math was. So when we get there, you know, so we get there, we get off the bus. Now, one of his homeboys, you know, he was from, he was from, a, he was from a big gang up out of LA, you know what I'm saying? So when we get there, one of his homeboys, you know, who had, who had got there maybe about a week or so before he got there, hear that he's here, you know what I'm saying? Hear that he's there on the yard. So his homeboy come out, you know, it's like the first day. His homeboy come out, bring him like some shoes, you know, cause coming from reception, you don't got nothing. You just got, you in your state clothes, you know what I'm saying? So, and your property is on the bus. Even if you do got some stuff in California prison, you know, you ain't gonna get your property for like maybe another week, two weeks, maybe a, three weeks, depending on how soon, or three days, depending on how soon R&R, &R, which stands for receiving and release, how soon they give it to you. So anyway, his homeboy come out there. His homeboy come out there, his homeboy give him, um, you know, like I said, shoes, you know, uh, some t-shirts, probably some boxers, a lot of food and stuff, just to, you know, get him, get him settled in. Shit for his hair, grease, things of that nature, you know, things that he, he might need to kind of like get him settled in until his property come, you know, chips, whatever. So, so okay. And there was another cat, I'm going to say his name, Sea uh, 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 Looney from Venice Showline. He was there, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, how much time y'all got, man? So we both telling him, the dude, Stimey, uh, uh, excuse me, the other cat telling him, telling him, hey, um, Man, look, I got, you know, 15 years. I'll be out and such and such. He said, oh, man, no, 